Meets Faith TV. Oh yeah, the 
God's right, God is good all the time. I will praise the Lord for all He has done for me. His love is everlasting, there are new every morning. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Angel of God Prayer God Loves Hello, I am an angel. Angels are messengers of God. Do you know the Angel of God Prayer? Let us pray the Angel of God Prayer. Are you ready to join me in this prayer? Pray like this. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. How are you today? I bring you good news today. God hears you when you pray. Just as God heard Hagar and told Hagar to name her son Ishmael, which means God hears. So, do not be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Jesus said that indeed the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. That is reassuring, right? Indeed, God loves you. His love is the only love that never fails. So be brave, be happy, take comfort in your faith. God truly loves you, not only today, but forever. And one more thing, just as God loves you, He commands you to love others, even those who do not love you. Stay blessed. Keep your faith. Till next time.
Of the Sea of Galilee, healing sick and spreading words of God the Almighty. Together with his disciples who serve him honestly, they sail the other side of the Sea of Galilee. A big storm rose and the wind gets strong. The wind gets high save us so oh lord the raging water strike the boat the disciples are frightened where is our lord jesus still on his sleep resting sound asleep the storm did not wake him up is there something wrong wake up wake up save us from the storm jesus stand and speak to them there's something you must know why are you afraid why are you so scared why are you so frightened do you have no faith i will tell the sea the storm and the wave hush be still now everything's okay everything's okay always with you he is always there you don't need to worry because he always cares he's just always with you he is always there you don't need to worry because he always cares if you are in trouble feeling stressed and scared just pray and call his name and he will be there dwells in the shelter of the Most High, will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. The story of Adam and Eve is a very important Bible story about trusting and obeying God's commands. But who is Adam and who is Eve? While today there are millions of men and women in the world, do you know there was a time when there was no man and woman in the world? Who was the very first man and the very first woman? Let's open the Bible and read about the creation of Adam and Eve. And let's find out if Adam and Eve trusted and obeyed God. We go to Genesis chapter 2. At this time, God Almighty has created the heavens and the earth. And after God created the heavens and the earth and had finished the work he had been doing, on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. So resting is indeed a good thing. At this time, there was no shrub on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. So no farmers and all those things humans can do were not done by humans. The streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. That man is Adam. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden. And 
there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work the land and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Okay, just imagine that you are Adam, no one to talk to, no family, no friends. Adam must have been very lonely. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now, the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So, the pig, the cow, the lion, the roaster, and all the names of livestock the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals were given to them by Adam, the first man. While we love animals and birds, we crave the relationship of a fellow human being, so none of these animals were suitable helper for Adam. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken at a man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. Everything was going well so far. Now the serpent was craftier than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Eve needed to trust and obey the commandment of God. However, Eve looked at the forbidden fruit and saw that they looked fresh and delicious and also desirable for gaining wisdom. She took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Adam should have obeyed the commandment of God, but he fell into the temptation. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? 
He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, A serpent deceived me, and I ate. So Adam tried to blame Eve for making him eat the fruit, and Eve blamed the serpent for deceiving her, but they had both still disobeyed him. God punished the serpent by taking away his legs, making all serpents crawl on their bellies in the dirt for all time, and making them man's enemies. God punished Adam and Eve by banishing them from the Garden of Eden. There are consequences when we disobey God, but when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. In this Bible story, Adam and Eve should have obeyed the Lord, but they disobeyed, even when they knew it was wrong to disobey God. In our lives, we may face temptations just as Eve. Always remember to resist doing bad things. Sometimes doing a bad thing may look like a good choice and sound like fun or have an immediate gain, but there are consequences for disobedience. When we trust and obey, not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt or a fear, not a sigh or a tear can abide while we trust and obey. Before you do something, ask yourself if it is a good thing, if anyone will be disappointed let us pray for the grace of God to be obedient. Dear Jesus, you have proclaimed that if we love you, we will keep your commandments. To walk with you is to avoid sin. Your sheep know your voice. I am your little lamb, and I will follow you wherever you go. Increase my trust in you and your commands. Let my ears ever be listening to your voice. Help me to trust you as my only shepherd. Confident that you will keep me from all harm and danger. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Parable of the Good Samaritan I am the light of the world. And behold, a lawyer stood up to put Jesus to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. and he fell among robbers. Who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, 
when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an end. And took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Jesus looked at the lawyer and asked him, Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, You go and do likewise. my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake The shadow of death I'll fear no evil For thou art with me Thy rod and thy staff They comfort me, oh yes Thou preparest me a table In the presence of my enemy Anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life, all the days of my life, and I will dwell. Of the Lord, my God, forever and ever. Thank you, my Lord, for being my shepherd. sunshine. Thank you for your love for me. My Jesus, you are my Savior. You make me happy. I know you love me. Do not forsake me when I'm in trouble. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. I'll never know, Lord, how much you love me Please don't take my sunshine away Oh, my 
Savior, I hear your miracles. You came from heaven because you love me. I'll never know, Lord, how much you love me. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'll never know, Lord, how much you love me. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. Thank you, Jesus.